when I roll out of it with roll out it goes back to normal now we may want to add one step in there to where as we're rolling out maybe the green or I'm sorry maybe the yellow goes back to a blue we can go ahead and add that functionality in there also so if I close this here the only thing we need to change is on roll out we'll actually make it start playing from hit you may have wondered why I added in hit and you're about ready to find out because it hit it'll start as yellow and we're gonna make it transition to the blue so once we have that I'll close my actions we will double click back into my movie clip and out here at hit I will go ahead and add myself a keyframe at 30 on each of these so I've got all these out here and then at the end of it I'll change this yellow to the blue I was using the easiest possible way you can do that is simply just to use the eye drop tool that you have grab whatever color blue that was from the very beginning frame and go out here and use the paint bucket to fill it then I can click in here and create a shape tween on this which will shape tween it from the green back to my blue now if I go ahead and try to preview this movie again under control test movie now when I roll in it'll turn green when I click it it'll go to yellow and when I move out it'll go back to blue so now we have one nice complete circle of life for our movie clip this is just a small taste of what you can do but it does show that you can make better animations if you've ever thought about them for your buttons instead of just having very very simple blue to green to yellow hard jagged transitions this will allow for smoothness and the sky is really the limit you can create all kinds of cool buttons that do different things all inside of a movie clip as long as you go ahead and make sure you have action script that goes along with them you have to have that it's going to be key because you want to make sure that when you create that movie clip and you give certain frames names such as normal hit and over you want to call those based on whatever animation or tweens you've done I hope this helps and uh, see you in the next tutorial.